Okay, let me show you something neat to make. You can have a uh, professional gray card that you can make for basically two dollars. You uh, spend nine dollars, you can make six of them. Keep two of them and sell the rest to your buddies. Um, I got a bunch of these. Most of them are left over from photography school. Um, here's one that I cut up to show you a demonstration. Um, by the way, this is a, a color checker passport. It's a little $99 uh, calibration tool. And here I have an 18% gray reflectance. Also right here, the one that I made. Zone 5 reflects 18%. Okay. Um, you can buy two of these 8x10 cards. This was an 8x10 card for like $9 online. Kodak used to make these. Uh, they're actually professionally printed gray cards. You want to touch them as little as possible. Also, before you make one of these, you need to actually uh, clean your hands really good with soap and water, rubbing alcohol so you don't have any oils. Because when you're actually cutting this, you're going to touch uh, the gray card a little bit. But any oils that transfer to this is uh, no bueno because that makes it more shiny and can actually reflect uh, change your uh, readings. So, how do you make one? You can make one in five minutes, more or less, and uh, folds up like this with a little piece of Velcro. Uh, this is just black duct tape on the outside. But I cut a little card like this so someone can actually use this in a scene, or I can actually drop it in a scene. I have two pieces of Velcro right here. I'm actually able to prop it between there, like that, so it'll actually stand up on its own, like this, if I drop it in the scene. And, of course, it folds up nice and easy. How do you make it? This is just a piece of cardboard covered in uh, industrial duct tape with two tabs of industrial Velcro and a little Velcro strip. It's like this. You can drop it in your camera bag. This is a true professional 18% gray card. Now, Color Checker, X-Rite makes one like this, and, uh, my God, it costs a lot of money. A true professional fold-up, uh, professionally printed, true scientific gray card. Not the cheap plastic crap uh, like these that you can get like in China for like two or three dollars uh, that you put around your neck. You'll actually notice that this is brighter. This is not a true 18%. You notice this? The light meter will not meter these the same. This is not 18% gray, even though it's listed as an 18% gray. I got this as a freebie. This is a true 18% gray. If you take a reading off this supposed 18% gray, it's not going to give you an accurate reading. It's not true 18%. It looks to be like 23 or 25% according to my uh, Siconic meter. So that's no bueno. That's, uh, that sucks. So make one of these in five minutes for four or five bucks. One 8x10 card. You get two 8x10 cards for, yeah, nine bucks. You can make 10 of them. Keep two of them and, you know, give the rest to your buddies or something, as your photography buddies, as gifts. Um, you know, when it comes to 18% gray card, they don't have to be that big. Actually, even on the super expensive color checker passport, for uh, calibrating your camera, the 18% gray patch is, you know, less than the size of a dime right there. So it doesn't have to be that big. So two 8x10 cards is enough for $9 to last you a lifetime a perdurable eternity. Assume that you're going to shoot your ass off for the rest of your life. Check out video number two. I'm going to give you a really neat exposure tip. Uh, it's something you actually won't read about. I've actually never read it, and I think I've got every book on exposure ever written. I certainly not read them all. There's no need to read them all, for obvious reasons. Um, don't need to read them. <laughs> I haven't read a book on exposure in a long time. Uh, check out uh, video number two after this, and I'll give you a really neat uh, trick and tip about uh, how you can get by with uh, metering, your scene, metering your scene without having to have an expensive light meter. Okay? So make one of these suckers. Fits in, you know, it doesn't weigh anything. Fits in your camera bag. And I'll show you the reason why you need one of these in the next video. I've kind of already mentioned why you need an 18% gray card. But anyway, thanks. Bye. Thank you.